Among the countless colorful scenes that were witnessed during the official reception ceremony of the Russian President Vladimir Putin, at the Kim Il-sung Square in the North Korean capital Pyongyang on June 19, 2024, perhaps his exit from the venue was one such a scene that was worth highlighting. Vladimir Putin, who was in North Korea for his second visit that came 24 years after last stepping a foot in Pyongyang in the year 2000, was treated to thrilling entertainment and honor from both the North Korean military and locals that had been mobilized to converge at the square, so as to receive him and make him feel welcomed in their country. And side by side, Kim and Putin walked down the red carpet, with two large portraits of the leaders overlooking the venue, with the entertainment including colorful parades by all formations of the North Korean military, as well as the military orchestra playing the national anthems of the two nations, and with artillery guns firing a welcoming salvo in a 21-gun salute. And just to go back a little bit, the Russian leader had arrived at the Kim Il-sung Square in his favorite Aorus Senate 600, that's undoubtedly heavily armored and which was flown from Moscow to Pyongyang. But after the ceremony, Kim Jong-un decided to treat him to something different, or rather a different ride as he took him to the Kumsuzan Palace for their talks. This time around, Putin didn't go back to his Aorus Senate, but rather the two leaders hoped onto a more relaxed and unique open-top Mercedes. The ride is a customized Mercedes Maybach S600 Pullman, and its appearance in the ceremony deliberately had a great significance, and is not to be taken lightly. The significance being that with the ride at the ceremony, Kim Jong-un wanted to send a message to the West or rather United States and the United Nations regarding the sanctions that it has imposed on North Korea. The West has imposed sanctions that ban the sale of luxury goods to North Korea, with Mercedes limousines being among those goods prohibited from being sold to the country. However, Kim Jong-un frequently shows off the Mercedes, Rolls-Royce and other luxury goods that he has over the years obtained in open defiance of the sanctions, and this display of the open-top Mercedes limousine during Vladimir Putin's visit was nothing less than a statement from the nuclear man that the sanctions are not working. Anyway, Russia and North Korea are expected to sign a number of bilateral documents, including a landmark comprehensive strategic partnership agreement. <laughs> 